today I'm going to show you how many of my students got a 15 to a 30x with Cross Wallet, a low cap crypto project looking to solve a meaningful problem, but we were able to anticipate the high before we had a massive 78 to 80% correction. So today I'm going to go over the technicals of how you can read the market like a pro, sell at the top and protect your profits and receive what's likely to happen before it happens. So if you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jiggy. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro, been featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I only used to focus on currencies, but now exclusive on cryptocurrency. So let's dive straight in. Now, question for you. i got two charts. Can you guess which is which and what is what? Well, the one on the left is actually Bitcoin from 2017 and the one on the right is Cross Wallet. Now, what I'm about to show you applies to all cryptos and I think we're going to get a parabolic move with the rest of the crypto market over the coming three to five to six months. So what I'm going to show you today is very likely to occur again and again with many crypto projects, including Cross Wallet, because they haven't launched their version one of their wallet yet and it is due anytime soon this quarter and I think they're going to wait for the markets to become a bit more optimistic and then launch. But today we're going to do a breakdown because when I first did my cross wallet video in Q4 of last year, I'm just going to pull up a couple of things here. Q4 of last year, the video was actually down here where the price was tiny. It was tiny. And we're going to cover this. Then we did a follow-up video about these particular patterns that was here. This was a second opportunity to buy before this big move. And then phase one, phase two, phase three, phase three is all about profits. Can we see this happening before it happens and get ready to exit, either exit one, exit two, or your full exit with your whole position? And many of my students were able to get a 15 to a 30x based on this, buying on the open market. This wasn't an IDO, even though it had an IDO back in, back in mid last year. So Bitcoin 2017, look, this is what happened, right? 2017, we had this big bull run. Very complex correction, similar to Cross Wallet, but on a more micro time scale because these patterns repeat over and over. And then Bitcoin obviously has hit all time new highs, $60,000, $70,000. So with Cross Wallet, we've got a few things that we want to cover today. First of all, when I first did my first, first video, it was roughly around 0 0.0135 in terms of the token price. Right? Token price was this. And then we had a nice little surge, but in the grand scheme of things, it was tiny. But at the time, it didn't feel tiny because it went from 0 0.01 to like 0 0.5, 0 0.05 should I say, it's like a 3, 4, 5x. And then it did a nice pullback, we want to talk about that today, around 0 0.03. And then we just had this amazing surge to the upside. But if we just take this part and zoom in, and we did a few videos on this back in, when was it, October, November, I think the first video was even in September. But what I said was, this was our first video down here, we had this massive price move, but in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't massive. It was just a little wave one, ABC. This is called a running, sorry, a flat, ABC flat, because it didn't exceed this low. And then the price just exploded to the upside, exploded to the upside. But today, what we're going to talk about is can we anticipate the high before a major correction? Where to take profits? Where to not give money back to the market is going to be absolutely crucial. Because if you can spot these patterns in advance, especially when it takes off, because there's two parts of the game. There's buying low, but then you have to sell high, right? And sometimes when the market takes off, people find it difficult to sell. But another thing, another caveat is to also don't get caught into the trap, the FOMO trap, fear of missing out trap, where the market is moving like this to know when not to buy, to know not to buy in this over here. We're going to cover that in a bit of depth. And by the way, I got a free Elliott and Fibonacci masterclass. I've been spending a lot of time on it. It breaks down what we're going to cover in step-by-step -step guide. And I've got an amazing offer for you. i got a full Elite Wave Fibonacci course, Foundation Intermediate Advance. It's normally 997. Right now, we're doing a stupendous offer, 97 pounds, and we break down everything. So everything we're going to cover today is in the course, how to. And right now is your time to really sharpen your axe so you're prepared for this upcoming last leg of the bull run, three, four, five, six months, which is highly probable. And we're going to see these patterns unfold again and again and again. And a lot of people ask me, I read your comments, I read every single comment. I'm the guy that responds to your comments. It's like, yeah, where do I find the masterclass? Well, if you scroll down the video where it says show more, if you click on that, it will pop up with timestamps. And below the timestamps is the free masterclass. Take it, it gives you a flavor of what, what we teach, Elliott Wave Fibonacci. If you like it, 
buy the course, £97, you get an invite to my private telegram. We do workshops on Saturdays and we're doing a lot of other types of things as well. So cross wallet. I want to do a breakdown of the analysis because a lot of people made a lot of money. A lot of people lost a lot of money because what we've got to remember is we're playing a sport here. It's the sport of crypto. And in this context, when you're looking to speculate, buy low, so high, there's hundreds of players, thousands of players, and sometimes millions of players. And everyone's trying to achieve the same thing, right? Buy low, sell high, or many people are. And a lot of the markets, pretty much 95% is driven by fear and greed, speculation. And we need to understand that. And when we're looking at Elliott Wave patterns and Fibonacci ratios, what we're really doing is just measuring human psychology. What's the psychology of buying and selling behavior? So what we saw here now in hindsight, this was where we did that, you know, I did a video down here, we did our first video here, and then we did follow-ups. But the pattern that really clearly unfolded, textbook style, is a one, two, a very overextended wave three, an ABC of a wave four, and a wave five. And what we're gonna talk about today is really how to identify this part and this part in particular before a big correction, because we have had a big correction with cross wallet and a lot of other cryptos and a lot of people were smart and were able to you know especially if you've done my course you would have seen this in advance and others were just caught out right they got caught out with one of two things one was buying up here experience a bit of a loss down here then the market got here it had it did have a massive spike to the upside and then the market came back down so people that got in here were clearly running out of loss but people that bought down here and here and here uh and and exited exited should ideally, hopefully, at least be risk-free and be in a profit. And that's the game that we're playing. So we're looking to win the game, zero-sum game, and we just got to practice tennis to have a high probability of winning. All right, so this is the chart that we, we saw before. So first of all, what we need to be aware of is we don't know, no one knows what's going to happen. We can only do probabilities, never certainties. And when we measure wave one, wave two, what you see in the course, and I cover it in the masterclass also, is there's the typical ratio for wave threes, right? Wave three, wave three. This is wave three, wave three. Now, this number here is actually, believe it or not, an overextended 2.618 ratio. And this means this is, is on the extreme side. But then we have this, right? This massive upsurge beyond the, ex the typical extreme. So what that told me straight away was... There's a wave three. It looks very highly probable. And, and that was the actual wave three. And this part here, this part here that we're talking about, this part here, it's total panic buying. Total panic buying. You know, it's, it's just clear. It's, it's far more. People missing out, fear of missing out. People have seen the market moves. Like, I want to get rich also. And they just FOMO in. And then what we have is a classic wave four, right? Wave fours are a profit taking wave, right? Profit taking wave. Whether, you know, think about it, you personally, psychology wise, if you bought down here or anywhere down here and the market's gone up three, four, five to 10, 15, 20 times, well, clearly you want to take some profits. And as the market moves down, the people that missed out over here are going, I'm not going to miss out again. And then they have, that's what the last leg of a wave five is before a correction. And it's important to understand this psychology because it will play out time and time and time again. But the key information that my students would have had, that you should have, and you want to have, especially with your portfolio right now, if we're going to get another surge, we're going to see these patterns repeat, but on a grander scale, because the markets are always expanding and contracting all of the time, we have to anticipate the next thing, which is this. If we can anticipate with high probability, a wave five high, which is before a correction, before, right? Because once the correction happens, it's too late, right? Money's gone back to the, the market. And we don't want that. So what we're going to do here, is I'm going to show you how we can identify, how I identified this in advance. And I'm ready to take profits, whether it's my position two, really, position two, because I've got a longer vision for Cross Wallet. I think it's going to be a powerhouse project when it releases and everything else. And I want to hodl, especially because I've got a stake in reward, 25% uh, APY or APR, APR, APY. I can't remember. It's one, it's one or the other. And I believe it's going to hit some good numbers. But my exit two, my second position was in this zone. So there's a relationship between wave one and wave five. I want to be aware of that. So what I've done, I'm not going to go over the details today because I'm going to keep it a bit short and sharp today, is this zone here, these lines here are key Fibonacci ratios. We're measuring this wave. We're measuring, if I can draw this here, we're measuring this over here. We're measuring this. And these ratios here 
all have a key relationship to each other. And it tells us, the lines tell us, that this is a high probability wave 5 top. It's time to take profits. So the price zone is 0 0.28, so 28 cents. It's a high probability wave 5 top zone. It's time to consider your exit strategy, your taking profits, your risk management. Put that money back in your pocket and bank some profits. Really, really important. Because when we're seeing these extreme movements to the upside, they're not sustainable and people are going to take profits. So you need to be ahead of the curve to be a part of that crowd taking profits. Also note, the actual price that was hit, if we go to candlesticks, there was a huge spike. It was pure formal, right? We're missing out. And it's not healthy. And you want to be aware of it though, because you're playing the sport. This, this line here, this candle wick, it went up to 44 cents. 44 cents. So the closing data was over here. These were the extremes of a typical wave five. But this, this peak, peak extreme actually got tagged, which we had a ratio for. And I, I was, I think I managed to exit one of my positions around here, around the 39 cent mark, because I know it's not sustainable, right? So I, I'm also speculating going, look, and my students, I'm like, look guys, it's time to take profits. If you're not risk-free, you should be risk-free. And exit two, you should be looking to execute your exit two as well. So people that got in at the first zone where we first did the video, it was around a total of the low to the top. You know, it was very unlikely that people were gonna buy at the absolute bottom and, and sell at the absolute top. But 33x on the open market, which is very, very healthy, just for a few weeks, a few, what was it, a month, month or two months. And then people that got in at the second zone, where we covered the wave too low, still at 15x. So 5, 7, 10, 15, 20x. So everyone that bought in these first two zones should have got risk-free and should have got good, good, healthy profits on your exit too. And some would have exited their third position also. So what I want to just finish up on is now that we've Confirm the top. We've got a confirmation because we've had this big movement to the downside, right? Big movement to the downside, big movement to the downside, to the downside. And what I want to show you here, typically, typically a correction would actually be in this zone. This is a typical wave two correction. And again, we would have anticipated this in advance. We've got no other reason to believe that this isn't going to have a, a reversal, but we didn't get a reversal. It moved more into a complex correction, right? Complex correction, similar to what we saw in Bitcoin 2018. 2018, even though it's a much lower cap project. So now, you know, whether you're a fan of Cross Wallet or not, but there's other projects that are like this right now because of the bearish market conditions, the pessimism in the market, there's fear, uncertainty, and doubt. People are spreading all types of things and news and everything else. But right now, I anticipate that Cross Wallet is going to make all time new highs, especially if Bitcoin goes to a six figure Bitcoin or moves towards a six figure Bitcoin. But now you've seen what is likely to occur again and again, whether it's Cross Wallet or some of your other cryptos. And it's really time for you to put in the training. So I'm going to highly encourage that you take my Fibonacci Elliott Wave Masterclass. If you like it, buy the course. It's only 97 pounds. I break it down like foundation of Elliott Wave, how to just do the basic counts, multiple degrees the advanced stuff, and then the Fibonacci ratios, where you combine it with Elliott Waves, just changes the game. You're able to see stuff that people just can't see. So you have a, a different level of an edge. Just click, you know, you probably know how to do this. Go into the description, scroll down, bang. There it is. Enjoy it. The, the masterclass is free. Like I give you some real good content. But if you like it and, and really think, actually, I want this in a course style, broken down, lesson by lesson, three to five minutes, that's what I've built for you. I've built it for you. People are getting phenomenal results from it. And again, we do workshops, private telegram, and everything else. So what do you think about today? Do you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification? Did you do it? Yep, yeah, we're growing as a channel. I want to bring more and more value to you. But the main thing is what I'm trying to get across is that the markets are driven by fear and greed. Sometimes it doesn't even matter the fundamentals of the project. It does come into it. It does come into it. You know, hitting the roadmap targets, launching the project, the tokenomics, you know, staking rewards, the supply and demand of the token itself. But a lot of the time it's just pure speculation. And when we see these patterns play out, they don't always play out when we do. We want to leverage that information, use it to our advantage and have an edge on the market. So the probabilities are stacked in our favor. So then when we're buying, we know we're buying low. When we're selling, we know we're selling with a high probability near the top. And you're just having a plan ahead of time. And that was the key thing for today. So let's finish on a quote. I've got a good quote for you today. It's from a man, Henry Ford. Henry Ford, yeah, revolutionary, you know, back in the early 1900s. It has been my observation that most people get ahead during the time that others waste. So during these bearish market conditions, during, you know, everything is down and, you know, people are coming up with all types of, look, it's just the nature of the markets. 
people are taking profits in, especially in January, February, March of last year. There was a massive surge in the whole market. Then we had like sideways and these kind of, it's almost like a channel that we're moving in. And there was a few months of bullish behavior. Now it's bearish behavior. But I anticipate there's going to be a next leg. So now's the time to prepare your skill sets, like upskill yourself, trade management, you know, risk management, profit taking. Like how do you get that money back in your pocket and where's your exit to? Is it a 10x? Is it a 20x? How can you do it in an objective, mechanical, non-emotional way? And I found that Elliott Wave and Fibonacci with some momentum indicators, which I cover in the course, is one of the best ways because it's, it removes the subjectivity and it's all objective. And if you can keep it objective, it means you're not, you don't, you don't get clouded by, by the emotions because people, if you've lost money, if you make money, especially if you make money, right? You get euphoria. That's a bad emotion when it comes to making decisions. When you're losing money, it's pessimism, it's fair. And then you're acting out of fear. Should I buy more? Should I sell? What's going on? Is it going to go to zero? Is it going to double? Is it going to triple? Is Bitcoin going to hit six figures? All of those emotions are bad practice. And it's like the best athletes on the planet are able to stay in the zone. In fact, there's a great book called Trading in the Zone. And it's all about staying in the zone, staying in the moment. So you can see what actually is rather than being skewed by your emotions. So if you like today's video, let me know what you think. It's a bit different today, but I just wanted to really get that case study across because it was real. We identified it at 0 0.0135. We did an update. It went to $0.05, cents, came back down to $0.03. Cents. Actually, it was 0 0.028. And we identified that also as a high probability wave two. And we said it was likely to take off as a wave three. And boy, did it take off. Like it took off beyond the 2.618, which is, that is, that is not sustainable. And you have to be aware of that. And then we had a Wave 4 textbook ABC correction, our last leg for a Wave 5. So the textbook Elliott Wave and Fibonacci structure where we can identify in advance what's likely to occur and we can act with objectivity, with high probability. And it was just textbook. The correction, it came right away back down to a 78.6% correction, a Wave 2, which is a high probability typical Wave 2 maximum, but there's no guarantees. So you don't want to be holding your whole, your whole position during that. You ideally want to be you know, in profit. So even if it goes right away back down to your entry point, you've still made a lot of profit. And then if it does have a next leg up, again, you want to be planned and prepared in advance. You know, what was my, I used to play badminton back in the day and my coach used to say, he used to say, fail to plan, plan to fail. That was it. Or, or prepare to, was it? Fail to plan, then plan to fail. Or, or something along those lines, right? So preparation, you know, they say success is when Preparation meets opportunity. And if you're prepared in advance and the opportunity arises, bam, you act. Whereas for a lot of people, the opportunity arises, but they're not prepared. So then a week goes by and the price is already taken off or things along those lines. Or the market has taken off and you did buy at the beginning, but you're not prepared to take profits. You don't know where a typical wave five top is. You don't know where a typical wave four low is and what's going to be high probability as an exit zone. And then the market comes right away back down. And before you know it, you're holding your, you know what, in your hands and going, what just happened? I was 20x up, I was 15x up, and now I'm back to break even, or even worse, 30% down, 50% down. Jeez, I should have sold, I should have bought more, and all of these kind of questions and conversations come into account. So there you go, we're going to wrap up. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, take the free Ellie Wave and Fibonacci Masterclass. I built it for you. Enjoy it. If you like it, buy the course. It's 97 pounds, cheap as chips. I'll see you on the other side in my private groups. We've got a workshop on Saturday. Yes, we're going to keep training you, and hopefully, 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 there's no guarantees in this game, but if we do get that last leg of the bull run in, you know, February, March, April, May, June, July, maybe even up to August, I think, again, as the market unfolds, we'll have more data. That We want to be prepared for that, prepared for that. So there's going to be winners and there's going to be losers. That's just the name of the game that we're in. There's going to be winners and there's going to be losers. Your job is to do the work now so you've got a higher probability of being on the winning side. All right, see you soon.